Hello, friends. Welcome to Storytime with Sai. Stick and Stone, best friends forever. Stick, Stone, I'll catch you. A friendship full grown. Together they'll venture into the unknown. Sticks on a search for a maple or a birch. He can't wait to see his family tree. Mom? Am I a spruce, a willow, an oak? Where did I live before my branch broke? Excited, Stone, quite delighted. I see a tree. I love a good quest. Quests are the best. They wander, explore, through forests galore. Through valleys and creeks and high mountain peaks. But Stick doesn't see his family tree. I think it was big. I think it was tall. Stone giggles. Stick, that sounds like them all. The forest is vast. The forest is deep. Soon they are lost in shadows that creep. They hear something scurry. Come on, Stick, let's hurry. Was that a bear? Was it a snake? It might be a monster. This was a mistake. We'll never be found, Stick. What's that sound? Stone looks at Stick. Stick looks at Stone. They both slowly turn, then scream. It's Python! Are you guys okay? Come on, home is this way. Deep forest, playground. Stick stone no longer alone. Stick stone saved by pine cone. Now homeward bound. Now safe and sound. I guess I won't find my family tree. Stick replies stone. Stone, your family's me. You are right. Whisper Stick, you are right next to me. You always have been and always will be stone. And, and I truly don't care if you're an oak or you're a pine. I'm your best friend and you'll always be mine. The End what is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where they finally come home and Stick finds out and Stick finds out that Stone is his family. The rabbit listens. One day, Tyler decided to build something to build something, something new, something special, something amazing. Tyler was so proud. But then out of nowhere, things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck. Where's the sh- What a shame. I'm, st- I'm so sorry, sorry. Sorry, 
this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Quack, quack. But Tyler didn't feel like talking. So, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grrr! How horrible! I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grrr! 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 But Tyler didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Come, come, da da! I, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Tyler didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant left. One by one they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, gulp, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, let's task task. What a mess! Let's throw it all away. And the snake, let's knock it down. Someone. Let's go knock down someone else's. But Tyler didn't feel like doing anything with anybody, so so eventually they all left until Tyler was alone. In the quiet, Tyler didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Tyler could feel its warm body. Together they sat in silence until Tyler said, "Please stay with me." The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Tyler talked. The rabbit listened as Tyler shouted. The rabbit listened as Tyler remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Tyler's plans to hide and to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Though it all. The rabbit never left. When it, when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Tyler's plan to build again. I can't wait, Tyler said. It's going to be amazing. Sometimes hugs say more than words. The end. What was your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where the host, where the ostrich said, "Let's hide in it." Should I share my ice cream? By Mo Willems. Ice cream gets a cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy! Oh boy! Ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I love ice cream. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? Hmm. 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 Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like will be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Hey, Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. I will eat the ice cream. Where is Piggy? 
What if she is sad somewhere? I must find her. When I do, I will say, "Would you like some of my ice cream?" Then she will say, "Thank you." That will cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Yum! Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. No! Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. Would you? You look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you. That'll cheer me up. Yum. That was not my plan. Oh well, this works too. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Piggy gives Gerald her ice cream. What ice cream would you eat? I would eat the. I would eat the vanilla ice cream.